When I saw this one here, I figured it was my duty as a reseller to make sure that I bought this so that it ended up in somebody's hands because somebody's gonna want this. Hey guys, I'm out here with the family today. We're all going thrifting today. Say hello, kids. Hello. Hello, hello, there's Danielle. Everybody's out of shorts and stuff like that, so we're going to be doing that and I'm gonna be looking for some stuff along the way, so let's go. Oh my God. Come on, girls. We're gonna make several stops today, so this cart's over here. So we got a nice pair of Johnson and Murphys down here. I do really well with these shoes, um, and they're in good condition. So I'm gonna pick these guys up. Got another pair over here. These two look really good. Let's get those. What do we got? We got, uh, this is a Callaway hat, new with tags. Um, doesn't say Callaway, but I might get this. This hat looks not really all that good, but this uh, Bullet Bourbon, I think I might get this one. Probably get about 20 bucks out of that. All right, I'm going to get that Callaway hat, too. Get some old Redskin stuff here. That stuff's really dropped in price lately, and that jacket's just too beat up. That'd be a really nice jacket if it wasn't so beat up. I like this fleece, but I got one just like it that has been sitting forever. This Lauren by Ralph Lauren jacket here, this nice wool coat. I just recently sold one of these for $99 plus shipping, and I actually spent more on this one. This one looks to be in flawless condition. A little fuzz there. Pick that off. 13 bucks. Yep, we're getting it. This cobalt toolbox really is not worth anything, and it's missing this strap, but I like it, and I need one, so I think I'm going to get this for myself. This kind of a weird little thing here. It's not branded or anything, so I'm going to put it back, but it's cool. This is like a risk game, which can be good, and it looks like it's in Russian or something like that. Let's look this up. I can't even get it scanned, so we're going to leave that one behind, too. If you see P90X, you cannot sell this on eBay, but you could sell this on Mercari, you could sell this on Facebook. Looks to be as though it was never used. All the discs look there. They look like they've never even been touched. Yep, $5 and change. Uh, I'm going to get this. Got a couple VCRs down here. Um, let's see. These don't look to be good ones. So books at Goodwill are $3 for hardcover. I actually have another book that goes with this, and it's a five-lot set. I sold it for $55 on uh, Mercari not too long ago. So I'm going to add this to the collection. Pick those up, then I need two more. Fortunately, I had to do this ball by voiceover because too much music playing and it got copyrighted. And some swim trunks. I'm not looking for these to sell. I actually need some. Not three pairs. Let's try those on when I get home. All right, let's go look at them real quick because that's where they put the stuff that's brand new. And I saw some shorts in there. And then we're going to go. Everybody stay with me. 
All right, now we're gonna run into the CHKD store, see if we can find some stuff. Yeah. It's kind of cool. This looks to be like a brand new Louisville Slugger backpack. Not sure what this is worth, so I'm gonna look it up and see if it's worth picking up. So I see one just like it sold for $35 with free shipping, and they want like 12 bucks on this. So really, you know, it's gonna be over a pound. It's gonna stay here. I thought this Star Trek thing might be cool. It's like a vintage uh, mystery game. But when I looked it up, there's only like one that sold for like five bucks. So at $1.58, it's still not worth picking up. One of my viewers just recently sold one of these uh, Seen at Disney games for a lot of money. But that one's not new, so that's staying behind. I like to look and see if I can find some stuff. These shoes look pretty nice, these Nike Zooms, but this store really always prices their shoes high. It's very rare that I find a good pair here. So for like 12 bucks, 20 bucks, a lot of the times what they charge, there's just not a, not a lot of meat left on the bones, and I only see one sold with that. We get Star Wars Risk here. I do like selling Risk if it's good. Um, some of them are worth a lot of money, some of them not so much. This bucks. one's $3.98 and uh, might be able to sell for about $25. Bucks. I got one pair of jeans. So I think I might grab it. Yeah? Find anything? I always like to look at the jackets. It's not really jacket season. Arby's, I used to work there for like five years. It's a crazy looking suit jacket. Get that there's and there's not. Looks like no, there are all the pieces are here. Guys, gonna say hi. We're back on camera. Hey. Uh, Push the blue OnStar whoop. button to activate your trial service and discontinue this announcement. All right, we're gonna stop in the pool store real quick and go see what we got in there. We didn't find much in CHKD. You guys finding some clothes? No, I got no. some jeans. I got some shorts and yeah. jeans. All right, here we go, and then we're gonna go. I think on to Thrift Store City, Salvation Army. What do you mean? All right, everything's twenty-five percent off today. Thank you. No problem. Yeah, this is the same place that I got these shoes. All right, let's go find the boys' clothes. So the battery on my GoPro died while I was out and about. So I'm going to show you what I picked up today while I was out with the kids. Here's all my receipts. So you can see I spent quite a bit. Now remember, I bought all kinds of clothing for my kids. They all needed shorts and t-shirts for the summer. So we got, what, 28, 65, 58, 7, 165, 19, and 98 so decent amount of money spent there but a lot of it was kids all right so let's go through what i got here so first thing i i got this cobalt uh this is like a fab, uh, canvas toolbox i think i'm going to use this for myself i got a toolbox but nothing like this it's easy to carry around so for 
825 I think that's a good deal. The only thing it's missing is the uh, strap over here, but that's pretty good. I got these two books, Sons of Neptune, House of Hades. These are three bucks a piece, which is, these books are only like $4 plus shipping on their own, but I have two more, and it's a five-set series that I already have. So I sold this on Mercari for $55 plus shipping just a couple months ago. Now this, if you're only an eBay seller, you want to stay away from this. This is P90X. You cannot sell this on eBay. They're going to ding you on the beach body stuff. Anything there will get you a Vero claim and that will get your account suspended. But you can sell it on Mercari. It's on Facebook Marketplace. This is pretty much like new. It doesn't look like these people even touch this. Now with, with beach body having their own streaming service, you might not get as many takers as you would have in the past but for 525 I can probably I've sold these before for about a hundred bucks we'll see on that one here's some more stuff for me so I got some swimming trunks can't see it in the living room obviously but I do have a pool and a hot tub hot tubs about ready to get shut down so I bought three pairs these two fit this Corona one does not. These are too small for me, but I figured I couldn't tell by the size on them, so I'm probably just gonna sell them. We got this Star Wars Risk game. This was $3.98. I took a look at it. It looked like it was all complete in there. So this is not a, as big of a seller as I thought it was, but I can probably get 15 to 25 plus ship on it. You guys been watching this channel you've seen me sell norfolk tides hats which I, of course i just bought one uh, but this was 298 and this is a 15 dollars plus shipping seller all day long i wasn't going to get this callaway hat because first off it doesn't say callaway on there it's on the back here that it's callaway but it was in good shape so i'm gonna go ahead it's still got this tag on it so it's new so i think that i can probably get about 15 bucks out of it this bullet bourbon hat this one was um, didn't look like anything special but this is probably about a uh, at least a 15 to 25 dollar hat on its own so that one's going up as well these I couldn't find any sold comps on them so the one thing I could find was Michigan International Speedway hats but I couldn't find anything for Alliance truck parts I could find stuff sold from them but no hats there was a couple listed but I mean I got one Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen hats, all for a buck ninety-nine a piece. So this is going to be a multi-quantity listing, and I can probably sell these at least fifteen, but probably about twenty bucks plus shipping. And uh, again, you know, multi-quantity is where it's at if you can make it happen. Which, as a thrift store garage sale reseller, you often can't do that. You guys have probably seen me sell these types of shoes a lot. I do really well with them. They're usually anywhere in between $35 and $125. Johnston & Murphy's are on the lower end, but I got these brown ones here. And then I got two pairs of black ones. Um, all these wingtip style Oxford shoes, which are some of the more desirable ones. They're all rubber soles. If you get the wooden soles, they're a little bit better. I never find golf clubs, so I kind of had to pick them up when I sold the sold comp, saw the sold comps on them. Um, this is a Wilson Pro Staff WD. I saw a whole set of these as ladies' clubs sold for like $165 plus shipping. Um, the grips do got a little bit of wear on them, but you can get them re-gripped. These were $2.99 a piece, so I decided to take a chance with that one. And then I also got this here. This is a uh, Callaway Sand Wedge. This one's probably about a $25 club. I'm not going to take it out because I don't want to get dog hair and stuff all over it. But this is that L L Lauren L Loren by L Ralph Loren. This is a big wool coat, like a size men's 48R. I sold one of those a little bit smaller than it for $99 plus shipping um, just a few months ago. And I got it for $13. These Johnston Murphys, I got this woven here. These will look better once I put something in there to stiffen them up, but excellent shape on them. They say $16.99, but everything was 25% off. So even with these clubs, these were all 25% off what I'm telling you I spent. Um, so yeah, we'll see about nine bucks I spent on these and uh, those probably go about $45. 
I got this pair of Jordans here. These are a youth size seven, I think. Seven youth. So these would convert up to like a women's eight and a half, which in one of my last videos, I talked to you about putting that in the title. Um, these shoes, this particular one in great condition is about a hundred dollar shoe. And you know, they're in okay shape. They're in pretty good. Some of this, this will clean up, but I can probably get about 75 bucks on these. All right, so this stuff all right here is about seven thrift store trips that I made yesterday. So I was not able to record because my battery in the GoPro was dead, but let's go ahead. I'll show you what I got here. So here's all my receipts. We got 318, 682, 5166, 1589, 422, $1.57, $13.67, $18.02, 1564, 3998, and 27. So a lot of smaller purchases. All right, so first thing, got a couple of VCRs. So I didn't get to test these yet, so I'm gonna hope they work, but we got a uh, Emerson VCR. These aren't really like great as far as sellers go, but I probably can still sell this for about 35 to 45 bucks. This one's heavy. This one here is RCA. Still looks in fairly, fairly good condition. So I think this one's going to be good. I'll test it out. It's probably a $45, $50 one. So books can be hit and miss, but this one here is pretty much new. I'm going to list it as new. It doesn't look like it was ever read or anything like that. And uh, it's selling pretty close to the asking price. So it must be a newer release still or something I just don't know about. This is probably the biggest waste of money buy t for the day. It's this Revenge of the Sith book I bought for 10 bucks, but I have the other two books and they're really worthless uh, to complete the trilogy without this one. This one would sell for about $15 on a 15 to 25 on its own. So I'm gonna lot them all up, probably sell them for around 45 bucks. I sold this exact same Chronicles of Narnia, C.S. Lewis. This is, again, excellent, like new condition. I just sold the same one not too long ago um, for about $25, so three bucks into it. And then working on completing another Harry Potter book series. So I already have three or four of them already. I saw this one here in good condition, so I went ahead and picked it up for three bucks. They had some other ones, but they were a little beat up, so I decided to pass on them. This is a pair of nursemaid shoes. These are actually, I believe, vintage, and uh, but they still have the tags on them. Uh, every, every comp I've been able to see is good, but these are about a $45 shoe. I got these for $3.98 at the thrift store. I really have no idea on these roller blades. This is Talon. I saw they uh, had pr some pretty good sold comps on them. They were $8.25. I'm gonna give it a go. I like learning about new things. So I got those. This is an AMF bowling ball. I just recently sold a bunch of these. Looks like, oh, you know what? There's a crack in it. I didn't see that before. All right, this is probably garbage. All right, roll it away. All right, so I sold a Green Bay Packers crock pot for 60 bucks not too long ago that was used. This is a Dallas Cowboys one, and it's brand new in the box here for $18.25. And here, this guy's never been taken out of the box, so I'll probably take it out for some pictures. Um, but otherwise, I should be able to get probably around $75 plus shipping on that, I hope. I've sold two of these New Wave ovens, or three in a pack, I don't remember exactly, but this is an open box deal. Nothing in here has been opened up or anything like that. Um, I spent up on it, it was $35, but the last two I have sold for $89 plus shipping, so I'm pretty confident that one's gonna move as well. I got this pair of Skechers shoes. These, these are a men's size nine. Skechers can be hit and miss as far as selling for good money, but these are new, so they don't have the tags on them or anything but they still got this here. So I'd probably get probably around 45, $55 for these plus shipping. When I saw this one here, I figured it was my duty as a reseller to make sure that I bought this so that it ended up in somebody's hands because somebody's gonna want this. So this is a straw fedora with 
PBR, Paps Blue Ribbon bottle caps and uh, rope and everything like that all over it. It's got this star on the front. There's no size on it, which is the bad part here, but I think I can just take a uh, tape, run it around here and uh, get some measurements, um, centimeters, and then convert that over and I'll have a size. If anybody knows a better way to, to size it, let me know. But this was 498. Again, expensive for a thrift store. Nah, not really. Gaudy as hell, yes. But somebody, somebody has to have this hat. And it's going to be my job to get it to them. I got this. This is a Dremel workstation. I don't know what it is. Some kind of uh, little press tool there, press drill. Um, sold comps on this were pretty strong. Um, even used comps were pretty good. And then when I opened it up, it is... It's still new, never used. And you can tell that because I got parts sealed in a bag in here. I'm not going to take it all out, but this guy here, probably somewhere around 90 bucks. I got to clean these shoes off, but I got these for $5.49 at a Goodwill. These are Nike, Nike Max Air. They are a men's size 15. So not a lot of out there, but these sell for some really good money. I don't tend to get shoes that, that um, big but you got a little bit of balling back there, but I think for $5.49, I can't go wrong there. Got a pair of Dockers boat shoes. I don't know if they're really worth a whole lot, but for $5.49, and I think I had 20% off when I did this, so I don't think I can go wrong on these either. Um, again, these look like they've never been worn, so I think those would be good. <laughs> these will look better once I put a nice polish on them and stuff, but these are a really, really nice, uh, what is this? I don't know how to pronounce that. QEO Italian shoe, men's size eight and a half. Really strong, strong sold comps on these. I probably get these for at least fifty dollars and five forty nine. Also got this pair of UGG slippers. Not really the season for it, but you can't go wrong with UGGs for five forty nine. And these are women's size eight, I believe. So these would be good. I saw sold comps somewhere in the range of fifty to seventy five bucks. These I got for myself here. I got three coffee cups. So I like these cups, these uh, Contigo ones. So I got three of them. I think that's a cold beverage one, but I can probably put coffee in there. But, you know, 225, three coffee cups. Found some golf clubs too, two days in a row, which is pretty cool. I got this Atomic Max. This is, I don't know what an A wedge is. So I'm gonna have to do some looking into that. So. But I believe from what I was looking at for other sold comps on these, probably around $25. I got this, I don't know if this is manga, I guess it is. It's, uh, what is this? Devil May Cry. So, Devil May Cry 3. I guess I didn't notice the 3. So I scanned this book. I got it at the thrift store for buck ninety-eight, And sold comps on this, about $60 bucks plus shipping. These shoes here, I think these are going to be one of the winners of the day. So these are... This is, these are called, these are made by Bally. It's a shoe out of Switzerland. Very, very uh, unique looking shoe here. Sold comps on these used, running upwards to a hundred bucks. And I spent $8.98 on them. If you're not sure, this will come off with some goo gong and a paper towel. And then I got a couple more clubs here. These are 845S Titanium by Armor. Not really familiar with Armor. I used to golf, but I haven't done it in years. Um, these are probably about 20, 25 bucks plus shipping. And I got these for like a buck 99. Picked up a nice pair of Nike golf shoes. I got some grass and stuff there in the bottom, but these are a good size. They're a men's size uh, 11 and a half style Oxford shoes. I'm probably gonna get upwards of $40 on these. Not really a big one here. These are probably about 20 bucks plus shipping. These floopy women's slippers, but they are new. So I thought I would see how those do. Got the shower filter cartridge for Aqua Bliss. I got this for, what, 78 cents? You really can't go wrong when you find something new in the box for 78 cents. I looked it up. Uh, Salt Comp's pretty strong, probably around 15, 20 bucks on that. And then just so I showed you those other hats, I found this one, this is funky. Of the world's most wanted wiener by uh, a wiener schnitzel hat. So I got one, two, 
three, four of these hats. I got four that are all new, so and they still got the cardboard and stuff in there. Um, saw one sold for about $18 plus shipping. These were $1.98 a piece. So, and again, it's one listing. So I just take about, usually about seven pictures with my hats and uh, those will be good. Got this youth Mickey Mouse hat. There's gonna be lots of people looking to go to Disney during the summer and stuff. This was new with the tags. So I think this one's gonna sell pretty well. You know, about $15 plus shipping, maybe a little more since it's new, but that one's going up. And I got this Nike Air hat. This is, um, again, this is a new hat here. So for three bucks, if I can turn around at a 15 at least plus shipping, it'd be good there. A going yard hat, but it's new. Oh, Texas Tech, there it is. Texas Tech hat, new. I probably can get 15, 20 bucks out of that. This, this will come off. Then I got a couple more hats here. I got, this is a Camaro hat, you know, Chevy Camaro. That stuff sells, Camaro stuff, Corvette stuff, whatever, will sell. Excellent condition hat. Again, probably about 15 bucks on that. And then one last hat here. This is O'Neill Psycho Series. Probably uh, get some good money on this one as well. Again, three bucks in. I probably could sell this for 15 to 25 bucks. Oh, we had one more. I picked this one up because it was just unique. I don't really do a lot of Virginia Tech stuff because it doesn't seem to sell that well, but this was a wool hat by uh, Coliseum Original. So it is, what, 70% wool, 30% nylon. Very nice looking hat, excellent condition, 398. So it's a little bit more than I usually spend, but I'm probably gonna price this one about 20 bucks. Over by the Goodwill bin store, which I was at, they have um, a little video game store that just sells video games and it is Goodwill. So I got these here. These are two power cords for PlayStation 3s. I have a couple that I didn't have power cords for. So I picked these up. These were, I don't know, I think 298 or something like the dollar 98, 298. And then I got this pair of Nike Hyper Dunks. These are in excellent condition. Again, just got a few things to pick up out of there. Nike Zoom, I mean Nike Zoom, not hi oh yeah, Hyper Dunk there. Men's size eight, very nice condition. Probably can get at least $45 from those. And they were $12.98, but I had my 20% off that I used on these, so I did get them a little cheaper. And then the last thing I got here was this is a, I think it's a Wilson leather. Oh no. It's a round tree in York, new with tags, men's suede coat. It's a size large. Um, it was $19.99, but so more than I like to spend on really just about anything. But again, it's brand new. I probably at least can get 50 bucks out of this thing, if not more than that. So I'm not gonna make my money five, six times over, but that is for sure to sell. Guys, thanks for coming thrifting with me. Uh, if you want to see what those things sell for, keep following along with my uh, channel here. If you have not, please go ahead and smash that like button. Subscribe down below. I'm going to give it a couple more days before I uh, pick a winner on the uh, GoPro camera. So I want to make sure everybody gets to see it that wants to be entered. It's been up for a day and a half now, and I'm filming this. So thank you guys very much. I'll see you guys in the next one.